Have you ever noticed that when you believe you're better than everyone else, you end up getting smacked upside the head when reality sets in? Well, that's what Lincoln found out in the episode I'm going to talk about today. So join me as I, Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. Cue the intro! Today's episode is out on a limo. In this episode, Lincoln wins a free limousine service for the day, and his attitude changes for the worse when a rich man shows him the perks of having a limo. Fun fact, Lord Tetherby is voiced by Alan Ruck, and the voice he uses is the same one he used in the prank phone call scene from the classic 80s movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Anyway, this episode gets a lot of hate, and I can see why in certain areas, but personally, I don't think it's as bad as most make it out to be. The central premise of the story is Lincoln going from being a nice respectful kid who's just happy to be given the opportunity to ride in a limo to a complete snob with no actual wealth because of having a limo. Then again, I can understand why he developed an ego because not only did the local townspeople think he was a VIP, but also because an actual wealthy person convinced him that people who own limos are better than everyone else and can do the kinds of things no one else can. Yeah, I get why people don't like Tetherby as the antagonist, but his presentation is not exactly inaccurate when it comes to how rich people are portrayed on other programs so his jerkish behavior was to be expected. Now, I will admit the sequence with Lincoln and Tetherby using their limos as their way of doing literally everything was a bit of an overkill, even though this is a cartoon. But in its own cartoony way, it was a symbolic demonstration of how fame and money can really change one's perception of the world and how they treat others. In Lincoln's case, however, his limo and his supposedly new upper-class mentality were not a result of having a fortune. It was from winning a mustard-eating contest, and yet he was convinced that he was more than what he actually was. Which which made his once friendly demeanor to his limo driver Kirby turn into one that was much more condescending. This is one of the few episodes where I honestly don't feel bad for Lincoln because his comeuppance was rightfully deserved. Kirby kicked him out of the limo when his free service time limit was over. He gets into a complete mess when trying to make it to the welcoming party Tetherby was holding since Lincoln was going to become a new member of a club exclusive to limousine owners, and is undoubtedly banned from the party since he was no longer a man with a limo. Still, he comes to realize how badly he messed things up and apologizes to everyone he hurt, including his own sisters, after blowing off the ride he promised them. He finally gives them a ride to the Burp and Burger like he had planned from the start, and of course gets the last laugh by giving Tetherby a face full of mustard in retaliation for what he tried to do to him. The one part of the episode I found very confusing was when Lincoln returned home to get change for the party. He said he was going to be home at 5 o'clock to take his sisters to the Burp and Burger, but he got home much later when Lisa said they were standing at the curb for over three hours. That would suggest he got home around 8 o'clock in the evening, but the sky still looked as though it was either early or mid-afternoon, and the same backdrop is used when Lincoln is making his way to the party. It's officially dark by the time he gets to the party, but it should have been dark or close to it by the time he got kicked out of the limo during the traffic jam. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because the story would have played out the same way no matter what, but it's one of those little things that's hard for me to ignore. Overall, this episode can be predictable since you pretty much know the direction Lincoln and Tetherby's characters are going to take, but the story does a good job of reinforcing the message on how being rich can bring the worst out of the nicest people. A few minor standout moments included the kids singing the Burp and Burger song, and Lincoln referring to Tetherby by miscellaneous vegetables every time Tetherby referred to Lincoln as Old Bean. In short, this episode does deserve some criticism, but definitely not as much as fans think it does. With that said, I give Out on a Limo an 8.5 out of 10. Well, folks, that concludes my review of Out on a Limo. So I gotta ask, what did you guys think of this episode? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button for more Loud House related content. That's going to do it for me, I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read WK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.